and welcome to part 13 of the order block strategy. Now, in this video, by now, you should know how to actually trade the strategy. But the main thing that you'll probably come across is what time frames do you actually use? So with what time frames you want to use, it will depend on what type of trader you want to be, whether you want to intraday, whether you want to scalp, whether you want to um, swing trade or whether you want a position trade swing trade position trade pretty much same thing um but yeah so i'm going to give you some rules that you can utilize if you want to you don't have to but i'll give you some set rules on how to use the time frames um you know hopefully helps clear things up and helps you bring everything together so in this video i'm not actually going to show you the strategy again i'm just going to talk about the time frame combinations that you can use depending on how you wish to trade. Okay, so we're going to use the rule of three. So the rule of three essentially is, say if you're going to use a weekly time frame POI, what you're going to do, you're going to count back three, one, two, three. So this is the setup that you want, okay? Ignore the 30 second, unless you want that there or not. It's completely up to you. Okay, so let's start off with this, with this setup. If you want to use monthly again, you can. Um, actually, we'll start off with a monthly. If you want to use a monthly POI, right you're gonna count back so say we're gonna do this okay okay so this is for the monthly say you've got a monthly poi sitting there now in order for your confirmation entry once price actually comes back in here what time frames do you use okay so in this situation you're gonna count back three so one two three and you're gonna ignore one and use the use the remaining two Okay, you can either use the daily for your confirmation entry, which is either, which is one of these, or you can use the four hour. Oh, sorry, I did not mean to do that. Sorry. Um, I didn't need, to, oh God. <laughs> apologies, apologies. Let me go back to where I was. So you can either use, actually I was in the monthly, wasn't I? There you go. Okay, I won't switch time frames anymore because I don't need to. So if you're using the monthly, for example, in this situation, um, let's just say M. Okay, in this situation, for your confirmation entry, you can use the daily or the four hour. Okay, in terms of finding your confirmation entry pattern, whether you're going to entry, whether you're going to use entry type number one or entry type number two, that is completely up to you. If you are going to use this, this is essentially position trading, where it's long term swings. Um, it's completely up to you if you want to do that, but remember, you can still refine your entry again. So if you are going to do this, so say if you use a monthly POI, which is where price is now, and then do you use, say that this is the four hour, and then say you've got an entry point here, you can do this again. You can look for your entry criteria again. And if you use the four hour, okay, you can use the rule of three again. So one, two, three. You're going to use the 30 minute or the 15 minute for your entry. Now, if this is the case and you get another entry, okay, you get your entry point here, okay, you're going to go back, you're going to do the rule of three again. So say, for example, if you've got the 15 minute, you can count back three. You can use the one minute or the 30 second. Now, if you don't have the 30 second, to be fair for this one, for this situation, you can use the five minute and the one minute if you want to. Again, looking for your chart pattern, whether it's this one or whether it's this one. OK, it's completely up to you which one. Well, it depends on which one uh, shows up and it's up to you how much you want to refine it. So if you're using the monthly time frame, this will be a confirmation within confirmation, within confirmation, within confirmation. But with a set of rules of what time frame you're going to use. OK, now just to clear, just to clear this situation. OK, if you want to swing trade, right? It, you don't need to have tight stops in this situation if you want to position or swing trade, okay? This is more suited for people who don't have time in front of the charts at all. So say, for example, you have this situation here, okay? Your entry point is here. This is the monthly, okay? You're going to use inside here, okay? Inside here, you're going to go back three. So you either use a daily or the four hour to find the exact same chart pattern and say you use the four hour, for example, 
you can simply enter off here. Now, although on the on this four hour, this is considered a risk entry, it's a confirmation entry of the higher time frame. Okay, so this is still a confirmation, but it is using a higher time frame. Your stop loss is going to be a lot bigger than you would do using a lower time frame, but this is more for people who just don't have the time to sit in the charts too often because these setups don't happen that often. In fact, they, they happen a few times a year. So if you don't have the time um, to actually sit at the charts, this is the way to do it and is a, is a very relaxed way and you will have a bigger stop loss. However, if you think about it with a monthly POI, I mean, monthly moves, they're going to be huge. OK, so just bear that in mind. So it is relative in that sense. OK, we'll move on to the weekly. So same thing again. OK, if you use the weekly time frame, I'm not going to click it this time. OK, same thing. So say this is weekly, right? You're going to go back three. OK, your confirmation entry is going to be here, right? Your confirmation entry is exactly same pattern as we know is either going to be this one or it's going to be it's going to be this one. OK either one of the two, whichever one shows up. But if you're on the weekly, you're going to go back three. So one, two, three, and you use either the one hour or the four hour for your entry confirmation. OK, so again, it may seem like a risk entry on that time frame, but it's not. It's a confirmation entry of the weekly time frame outlook. So this can you can do this on the one hour. That's very bad. You can either do this on the one hour or you can do it on the four hour. OK, it's completely up to you what time frames you want to use. And that does not look like one hour or four hour. But I'll type this up at the end so you can screenshot it. OK, same thing again. Um, let me go. Now, this video may not be useful to all of you, but it's just to give you guys um, a set of rules that, that you can do that you can use for your time frames. And the reason why I've done the rule of three is because it's something that I've been trying to find a rule based way to uh, use time frames and this is what I found the rule of three was probably the best the best way to do it um, so let, now let's go to the daily okay exactly the same situation you have this your entry point is here right um, and say this is daily you go back three one two three skip one one two so you find your entry criteria on either um, the hourly or you find it on the uh, 30 minute okay again it's a confirmation entry of that higher time frame right and same thing again I don't know why I need to keep um, deleting everything to be fair same thing again if you use a four hour so let's do four hour that looks better actually for a four hour um, same thing you're gonna go back three so one two three skip one you're gonna use the m30 uh, you know what? I'm not gonna delete the Thing anymore um, okay you use the m30 or the m15 for your entry okay um, let's get rid of this and see if you if again if you want to do now if you use a four hour this is more of a intraday intraday move um, so just bear that in mind if um, daily and above their swing trades and four hour below their intraday um, what was I doing yeah, and if you use the one hour, okay, go back three, one, two, three, skip one, 15 minute and the five minute is going to be your entry confirmation, okay? And in this situation, you can use the one minute as well. It's, it would it doesn't make too much of a difference, but ideally the 15 and the five minute would give you uh, clearer, clearer entries. From what I found, um, if you find better time frames that work for you, then it's completely up to you. But this is to give you a rule based way to approach your time frames. Now, if you want to scalp, however, um, I, uh, I don't know, I deleted that again. If you want to scalp, let's go into the 15 minute. I wouldn't advise doing the 30 minute for scalping. 15 minute is fine. Um, say if you get your entry criteria here. Your confirmation entry, if you skip one, is going to be the one minute or the 30 second or below. Again, you can use a five minute if you want. To be fair, it doesn't make a huge difference in this situation with the rule of three. But generally, the one minute for your entry confirmation would be ideal, um, ideal way to go about it. OK, so the main thing to take away. OK, and I'll type this type this up for you guys. So um, time frame combos okay 
So swing, uh, I'm not going to write position, swing, position, same thing. Okay, so if you use a weekly time frame, you're going to use, remember, the rule of three. So let me type this at the top, actually. Uh, rule of three. Oh, not a pound. <laughs> three. Right, you're going to use the weekly time frame. Um, actually, let's just, let's, I'll put in the monthly since I spoke about it. So monthly time frame, you're going to count back three. One, two, three. You're going to use a four hour or the daily for your entry confirmation. Four hour or daily for confirmation. Now this is only for confirmation entries, by the way. For risk entries, it doesn't make a difference what you do. Um, there's not really any time frame com uh, combos. You can just refine an OB to how you wish to use it. Um, okay, so we've got that so far. The next one, if we're going to use the weekly, uh, weekly, um, we're going to use, again, count back three, one, two, three. You're going to use the one hour or the four hour for your entry. One hour or four hour for entry. Um, if you use the daily, um, again, count back three. You're going to use the one hour or the 30 minutes. If you're going to use the four hour, you are going to use the 30 minute or the 15 minute. Uh, if you're going to use the one hour, you're going to use a uh, 15 minute or uh, five minutes or one minute for this one. Um, and then if you're going to use the 15 minutes, you're going to use the five, one minute or 30 second. Okay, so that's that's swing trading in those ones and then intro day there we go so this is the rule of three okay you're going to count backwards so you find your time frame count backwards three one two three use the remaining two skip one use the remaining two weekly count back three one two three skip one use the remaining two okay for your time frames if you're swing if you're swing trading you're going to use the monthly time frame four hour or daily confirmation weekly you're going to use one hour four hour and daily, you're going to use a one hour or 30 minute. For intraday, you're going to use a four hour and you're going to use a 30 or 15 minute for uh, confirmation. One hour, you're going to use a 15, five, or one. And for 15 minute, you're going to use five minute, one minute, or 30 second. Five minute may not work sometimes for the 15 minutes. It might be too big of a time frame, but sometimes you get some massive 15 minute moves, so it might work. So just bear that in mind. Now, if you want to do Everything if you want to do if you want to do a swing trade, but with an intraday entry, which is basically a very tight entry How you would do it is essentially what I discussed at the start. So say for example, let's start right from the very extreme Okay, say that this is your monthly. Okay, your entry point is here. You find your confirmation. Okay You find your confirmation on the four hour Your entry point would be here then you find your confirmation on the from the four hour, you find it on the 15 minute. Exact same thing, entry point here. And then if you wanted to, you can find your one minute confirmation, um, which is the exact same thing here. This is confirmation within the confirmation, all within here to get a fat swing. Okay, to get that very tight stop loss and to get a big swing. However, if you're not worried about the risk to reward in this sense and you want to swing trade, then it's probably best bet is just use it following this uh, setup if you want. Another way that you can actually boost, um, another way that you can boost it is, say for example, you're in this situation where, let's yeah, let's use um, uh, let's use a four hour for example. So say this is the four hour situation, okay. This is the four hour. Then what you have you is look for the confirmation again on your uh, say 15 minute or 30 minute. Say that this is the 15 minute and you got your 15 minute OB that's here. You can refine this OB to as tight as you can, as tight as you want uh, to get the best risk to reward in this situation, as you normally would in terms of refining the OBs. You don't have to do another confirmation. You don't have to do this again in that area. Okay, you don't need to look for another confirmation. You can just simply refine this OB 
and go to a point that you are happy. So you can refine the 15 minute OB to like a five minute OB or one minute OB to whatever you feel comfortable. You don't have to look for another confirmation. And that applies to all time frames that you're going for. But this is essentially the rule based way to follow what time frames you're going to look at. So if you've got a four hour POI, then focus on the 30 minute or the 15 minute. And what I mean by that for your entry is focus on the 15 minute confirmation entry and then refine it from there. If you're looking at the one hour, same thing and, and so on. But it, it, you have to decide what kind of trader you want to be. Actually, one thing I forgot to add. Um, that's the scalping. There you go. Let me add some spaces um, to make it look nice. There you go. Let me get rid of my messed up drawings. Oh, oh, no. Okay, so how am I doing that? Magic, mate. There we go. Okay, so let's, uh, you can screenshot this. Let me get everything out of the way. Oh, maybe I can't. There you go. So that's the rule of three. That's how to do a rule based way to follow which time frame you're going to use. Understand what kind of trader you wish to be, whether you want to swing trade, intraday or scalp. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this helps. Again, you don't have to use this method if you don't want to. It's more if you're lost in terms of what time frame that you, you know, you don't know what time frame to use. This is the best thing for you uh, just to get into the habit of it and not jump straight to the lower time frames. Don't feel that you have to jump to the lower time frames to find the best possible trades because you know if you're new to lower time frames you will struggle. So don't don't just rush to get to that lower time frame. Follow this rule first if you're completely new and then you'll work on your refinements. Um, but yeah I hope this video has helped and uh, yeah happy trading.